Hi, this is Leanne Archangel, and I'm about to take you guys on an adventure of a lifetime. We are going to explore the historic and beautiful building behind me called the San Gabriel Archangel Mission. So hope, you, hope you're ready because here we go. When you first walk inside the mission, you will find the Fountain Plaza where all the adventure begins. To the left of the Fountain Plaza is a cemetery called the Campo Santo Cemetery. This is the oldest cemetery in Los Angeles County. The first burial took place in 1778. The walls which surround this area were rebuilt in 1940, but the foundations are original. Wasn't that interesting? Let's go see some more. In the cemetery, you will find the crucifix, which is a memorial to the 6,000 Gabrielino San Gabriel Band of Mission Indians buried here. Rededicated in 1939, the cemetery is also the final resting place for Claritian's missionary priests and other brothers who have served here. Come on guys, follow me, let's go. Approaching the church, you will notice the grapevine that was planted in 1925. You will see the ruins of the original bell tower to the left of the church doors. The church was built of cut stone and mortar in 1791 and is the oldest structure of its kind. The main altar was made in Mexico City and brought here in the 1790s. The wooden polychrome statues were hand carved in Spain. At the back of the church, the open stairway at the far right leads to the choir loft, and to the left is a six bell campanario, which is also called the bell wall that was built after the original bell structure toppled during 1812 earthquake. When we visited the mission, the church was being prepared for a wedding. Located next to the church is the museum. The museum building was constructed in 1812 of adobe brick with a tiled roof and was almost 300 feet long. The museum contains a remarkable collection of garments dating back to the 17th century that were used by the mission fathers. Some of the artifacts are a small rosewood organ brought from France about 1821, old photos of the original Indians in the area. There are also a lot of books in different sizes and dating back to 1489. Also inside is a Spanish bedroom dated 1623. My sister and I got to try to sit on one of the carved Franciscan chairs. Right outside of the museum is a display corridor. Displays include a wine vat, grape grinder, anvil, grinding wheel, mission models doted by students, and more artifacts. Let's go learn some more about this mission. The quadrangle was a workplace for many trades performed by the Shoshone Gabalinos Indians. Taught by the Franciscans and craftsmen sent from Mexico, the Indian trades included metal smithing, leather works, carpentry, candle work, soap making, basket weaving, spinning, and weaving wool. In the quadrangle is a statue of Father Junipero Serra, who was the founder of the San Gabriel Archangel Mission. The statue was erected to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the mission's founding. The grapevine here is probably planted about 1775. The two oldest olive trees were planted in 1860. The water cistern is original. It is 15 feet deep, with both sides and bottom made of stones and mortar. As you continue walking through the grounds, you will notice open fireplaces that were used for cooking and the aqueduct, which was the main source of water within the mission walls. The water was piped from here with crude fired clay pipes to the laundry, kitchen, and other areas. Another interesting area in the mission grounds is the candle and soap factory, which supplied goods to most California missions. It consisted of four large furnaces or boilers, each held between 2,000 to 2,500 gallons. Each furnace was made of brick, stone, and lime, and was built in the shape of sugar loaf. There was a large iron pot or kettle set in each of the furnaces so that fire from below could keep it boiling. The vats were stolen during the Mexican War and the factory was used very little after that time. One of the highlights of our visit to the mission was the Peace Garden. The garden includes a handmade tile picture of Our Lady of Guadalupe. 
The Mother of God blessed the Americans in a special way on December 21st, 1531, when she appeared to an Aztec Indian. The apparition took place on Tepayac Hill near Mexico City. The garden also includes the anchor off of Mission's Guadalupe sailing ship, a cannon that was found in a nearby river after a flood in 1914, and a fountain made in the 1940s by native sons and daughters of the Golden West. Come on, you guys, there's so much more to see. A few steps away from the garden is the old kitchen. This kitchen is a replica of the original old kitchen built by the Franciscan and Gabrielino Indians, but destroyed by fire in the early days. Meals for the friars and Spanish soldiers were prepared here. For me, the most interesting of all is seeing all the mission models on display. My sister and I enjoyed looking at all the 21 California mission models made in the 1930s by Claritian missionaries. This included two of the missions most of us have heard of, the Mission Santa Barbara and Mission San Juan Capistrano, which is the largest of all the missions. Wow, that was incredible. There were so many interesting things we learned today. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, bring your family here and be their guide. This is the Archangel signing out. Always be curious, be adventurous, and most of all, never stop learning.